we wanted to create a really magical space that could go to where the pupils were and where and where they need to be um, and we knew that this particular audience needed a very specific type of space we had tim webb from the oily cart mentoring us um on this project that they oily cart being a company have done this kind of work and we both agreed that for this kind of audience to have a piece of work where some people stood at the end of a hall pretending to be other people um, while some other people watched them just wasn't an, an appropriate um, way of, of trying to communicate and trying to engage with, with these pupils. The bubble allowed us to create this multi-sensory room come to life um, in a really magical way that could come into their school hall, whatever the shape, whatever the size of it, that we knew that we could create something within that space that would engage and stimulate and calm and excite um, and start a conversation. The very first time that you came into the classroom and we didn't know what to expect and we were all sitting nicely and you started coming through the door and the room went from really vocal, shouting, protesting to absolute silence like that and the mood just changed straight away. That's a lovely idea. We'll all go together. Come on, crew, follow me to the lifeboats. This way. So we made, we designed um, six um, custom boats that fitted each child, sort of with uh, the sensation of lycra and softness, and and they were then wheeled into the performance space by the uh, performers and um, used throughout the piece. Then. Um, well, from what I could see when you were setting up and getting the pupils organised and ready, I could see their eyes darting back and forth, I could see their body language, I could listen to them, I could hear the noises they were making. So um, I think that even that alone, them being in the room and watching it happen to others and waiting their turn was wonderful to see. It was fascinating to see how well the kids could focus on what you all were doing and looking from individual to individual to individual and just so responsive for that whole, the whole hour. My kids didn't want to leave, they really didn't. And the performers spent a lot of time working one-to-one -one, um, with the audience, working in kinesthetic ways, working in tactile ways, um, as well as the more standard work with kind of lights and music and human voice. Um, and the lights as well, you could see some of them looking up and looking at the, the lights. They were tracking that and could see by their expressions, it's like, what is that, where is that? Yeah. You know, so it was, they really did enjoy it. And so some of it was about, absolutely about that proximity um, and about somebody having a proximity to them that wasn't about personal care, that wasn't about trying to do something practical or pragmatic that was trying to create a magical moment that was just for them. A lot of our pupils have lack social interaction and the fact that somebody's coming over to them and interacting closely with them benefits them so much more. But to be honest it has just been lovely seeing our children's reaction to somebody else doing it to them. We presume that we get the reactions because they know us and in actual fact seeing the reactions with people that they don't know as well shows that they just enjoy that form of interaction. That's what gets the best from them and they really feel involved. But it all came together and you actually felt that you were in that adventure with them, especially the parents. I mean they were just taken by it. They knew that they were interacting, that it was working, that it was all having an effect on them. Christopher, who initially was sitting really uptight in his, in his uh, boat going, right, what's this, what's going on? Realised that he could lie back and when he lay back, that was it. He just, he, I think at the end they had trouble getting him out of the boat. He just didn't want to leave. The experience was just absolutely not, not like anything they've ever had before. Well, I have nine children in my room and when Bliss came in and started rehearsals, they just came to life has just been, all in all, a spectacular, joyous, 
incredible experience, not just for the children, but for the parents that were able to come along as well. They have seen reactions from their children they weren't expecting. They have seen their children react to strangers they never thought they would and truly interact and truly become involved in a story, become a part of a play and become a part of a new dreamlike situation. It takes a special person or special group of people to be aware of and in tune with the needs of children who have profound and multiple learning difficulties. There was a lot of reaction from ch some children that we can't, you know, are very distant um, and it was great to see them smiling and laughing and focusing on all the different things. It was so great. I just am really impressed by it and hope that it happens again. It's totally different to anything with ex I have experienced with the pupils before. It was amazing mm -hmm. and the other staff have, have agreed as well. They really, really enjoyed it and they want more. <laughs> because these are a group of pupils, children, young adults who demand so little but should receive so much.